Okay, for question 10, who needs help for question 10? Question 10. Okay, so uh, I believe uh, we have done this question yeah. at least three times before. You all really need to revise through your work. Okay, in a school hall, chairs were arranged in rows such that there were exactly 11 chairs in each row. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Now, we do not know how many rows are there, okay, but we know that there's 11 chairs, okay? 11 chairs, but we don't know how many rows are there, right? Now, for a concert, Brittany bought 16 more chairs into the school and rearranged all the chairs, okay? So, for a concert, she decided to arrange all the chairs. Now, what's the renew arrangement? I'm going to draw the new arrangement for you. The new arrangement is such that there's only eight, row, uh, eight, eight chairs in each row. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, so you can see that there's a difference in the new arrangement. So, there will be... Okay, right? No. So this is the new arrangement, right? So at first is only here. This is the arrangement. Eleven chairs multiplied by uh, unknown number of rows. Next, she decided to add. 14 chairs, right? Okay. So when she... she 16 chairs. Oh, so, sorry. 16 chairs. She actually got 16 more chairs. And the new arrangement is here. This is the new arrangement, right? Correct? Yes or no? Yeah. This the, the one in yellow is the final new arrangement. Yeah. Okay. So you can see that what happened to these 16 chairs? These 16 chairs, right, are actually placed in this extra 14 rows, right? Yeah. Correct? And also, all the three chairs here, all the set of three chairs, there's a lot of three chairs here, actually. All the three chairs here, right? They're actually transferred here as well, yes or no? Okay? Now, First of all, we need to find out the number of chairs in this region. Yes? How to find the number of chairs here, Kaden? 14 times 8. Do you all agree with him? Yeah. So the number of chairs here is actually 14 times 8, which equals to how many, Jing Kai? 1, 1, 2. So there's 112 chairs. Where did all these 112 chairs come from? It actually come from here. And plus the 16, right? Yes or no? Correct? First, from this 112, I subtract off the 16, I actually get 96, right? So that means I know there's 96 chairs here. Correct? In this area. Alright, and you know that 3 chairs per row, can I find the number of rows at first? Yes. I can, right? Sky, tell me the number of rows at first. How do you find the answer? 96 divided by 3 equals to 32 right? rows at first. How many chairs are there in the school hall for the concert? So since there's 32 rows at first, and at the end, how many rows are there, Ernest? Huh? How do you get 46? 32 plus the 14 new rows, right? 
40 row, 46 rows at the end, right? Correct? Okay. So we want to find the number of chairs in the concert. Okay, during the concert will be 46. Multiply by what, Jack? More, 46 multiplied by 8. What's the answer, Ryan? Sorry? 368. So the answer is 368. You understand what I'll do? Alexis, gone through many times, really. A lot of repeated questions. You need to revise through the old work. Alternative method? Yeah. No, it's okay. Alternative, there's uh, quite a few alternative methods for this question. No, you show me, okay? Right? But this is the method that I suggest you do. And I've done it a few times. You all really need to revisit the questions that I've done before. Or, why are we setting such questions? Because it appeared in PSI before. Alright? That's why we want to get you prepared. You cannot... If these are questions that appear before, it may come out again. These are questions that you must be prepared for. Okay? You don't learn it now, there's no other time to learn it. You need to learn it now. There's no other time. Anyone need to clarify anything for question 10? No? Question 11? Okay, let's go through question 11. Tickets for school musical performance were sold to parents and pupils at different prices as shown in the table below. Parents are play paying more than their students, obviously, because adult versus child, right? So, 2 over 7 of the tickets sold were bought by parents. Okay, 2 over 7 of the tickets sold were bought by parents. What fraction were actually bought by pupils? Um... Isabel, do you agree with her? 5 over 7? Yes. So that means for every two tickets that uh, parents buy, the pupils will five. buy how many tickets? Five. 5, right? So the ratio is 2 is to 5. So we know that one set is 2 is to 5, right? Correct? So now we can... The total amount of money collected from the sale of tickets to the pupils was 1,500 and $90 more than the total amount collected from the sale of the tickets to parents. You know that for every five pupils' tickets, we actually sold two, two parents' tickets, right? Correct? So we know that five pupils' tickets is actually, in terms of the cost, is actually $11 times five equals to $55. And then two parents ticket is actually $20 times two equals to $40. So this is, you can see, it's one set, right? Can you see it's one set? Okay, it must definitely in this one set, two is to five, no matter what. Okay, based on the question, two over seven. So we know that the difference for one set is actually $15. Correct? Now, the sale of the tickets to pupils was $1,590 more than the total amount collected from the sale of tickets to parents. What is the next step, Jinkai? So Jinkai say $1,590 divided by $15. Why did he want to do that, Aisha? To find the number of sets, right? You all agree? Okay, so... Next step is to find the number of sets, 1590, divided by $15. Uh, equals to how much, Lauren? 106. So we have 106 sets. Okay. How much money was collected from the sale of tickets altogether? So you know that the price of one set is actually $55 plus $40, right? This is the cost of one set, right? Yes, Correct. So, what's the final set, Sky? 106 times $95. And what's the answer, Chen Hao? 10070 dollars Okay, this is a very simple question as well. Sets. Okay, we should have done it multiple times. You must be able to solve these questions. 
Okay. Anyone need to clarify? If not, I'm going to move on to the next question. Okay. Next. Question 12, anyone has any problem? Okay, let's go through question 12 together. Now, figure 1 shows a square tau made of two black squares, P and Q. You can see two black squares, P, Q, and two identical white, rectang uh, white rectangles, R and R. So, R and R is the same. The length for one side of the square is three times, okay, the length of one side of square P. Okay, so in other words, what I have here is, this is two units, this is one unit, right? Yes? Correct? Because the square itself, the length of one set of square Q. No, sorry, three units. Correct? Yeah. Square Q is twice. So that means three is to one, right? Okay, so we know the entire tau is actually four units, right? Okay, the entire square tau is four units. So the square tau is actually four unit by four units. Now, what fraction of figure one is made out of black square tiles? What fraction of figure one is made out of black square tiles? Right, if you were to... The black, black squares, right? Okay, black squares, not black square tiles, but black squares. What fraction? Actually, it's quite easy to do because you know that P itself... It's actually one unit by one unit, right? Do you all agree? Yeah. One unit by one unit. Yes? Yeah. So one times one equals to what? One. one. Okay, good. So one times one equals to one. And then Q itself is... What's the side of Q, Jack? Three times three, which is good. Three times three equals to nine. And what about the whole entire square tau? Uh, can we? 4 times 4 equals 16. So what fraction of the square tau is made out of black squares is actually 10 over 16, 5 over 8. So the first part, I believe that most of you can do right, 5 over 8. Okay, now let's move on to the second part. Figure 2 shows a floor lit with the square tau. So it's being lit with the square tau. So where is the one square tau? This is the one square tau, okay? In case y'all cannot see, I'm going to mark out the square tau for y'all. So y'all can see the square tau. So here is actually four square tau, right? Okay. Find the total area of the floor covered by black squares. Okay, so find the total area of the floor covered by black squares. Very simple. What is the area of this entire room? Can we find? Yeah. <laughs> we can, right? Because it's 16 meters multiplied by 16 meters equals to? How much, Colin G? 256 meters square. So the area of the entire room is 256 meters square. But you know that... This square room is made out of square tiles, right? Yeah. Am I right to say that 5 over 8 of the room will be covered by square tiles? Yes, right? Multiply by 2, 5, 6 meters square. And what do I get? Colin, Colin out. Sorry? 160 meters square. Do you all agree? Yeah. Okay, so it's quite easy done, right? Do you all understand why is it I can use 5 over 8 multiply the, the area of the whole room? Yeah, because it's 5 over 8. Okay, because the room itself is also square. Understand? Okay, you're using the small squares to make the big squares. Understand? Yes, uh, Clarence? You did by what? How do you get 8 units? 
Oh, okay, can also possible. Same idea. Anyone has any questions? Is this the last question? No, one more. Okay, let's look at the next question. Anyone has any problem for the next question? No? Only one? Ashley, uh, can you help uh, Emma B later? Anyone has any problem? No? Okay, so uh, we'll stop here.